Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Colin. I'm an English teacher with over 20 years of experience. And today I'm going to help you answer a very important question. What is my English level? This is a question that my students ask me a lot. They really want to know what level their English is. They want to know, are they A1, beginner, beginner level? Are they A2, maybe B1 or B2 or C1? or maybe even top of the tree C2 level. Well, today I'm going to give you six texts at different levels and you'll be able to see which level is the most appropriate for you. So what am I talking about? A1, A2, B1, B2. What do these letters and numbers mean? Well, this is the common European framework of reference for languages. This is called CEFR for short. And basically, this is a way to measure your ability in a language. It's not just used for English. You can find CEFR levels for Spanish, French, German, whatever. But today we're talking about CEFR levels in English. Levels A1 and A2 are the beginner levels and A1 is complete beginner. B1, B2 is up into the intermediate levels and then C1 and C2 are the advanced levels. C2 is often thought of as near native level. But to be honest, most native speakers don't speak at C2 level all the time. So don't feel that you need to be up at that C2 level in order to have a conversation in English. Knowing your level is really important. If you are using materials that are too easy for you, you're not going to develop. If you're using material that's too difficult for you, you're going to get frustrated and you'll stop studying. So finding the right level for you is really important. So all of these texts are about climate change. And I did this because I want you to see how the vocabulary changes from the lower levels up to the higher levels. Climate change is a topic that has some very technical vocabulary at the higher levels, and you'll be able to see how this develops as we move up through each level. Now, what I suggest for each text is that you pause the video and read by yourself. I'm going to read through the text um, as we go through these, but it's a good idea for you to pause the text and read by yourself before I read. Okay, it's just a nice way for you to preview the text by yourself. So, are you ready to find out your English level? Let's take a look at the first text. So this text is the Sefer A1 level. This is the complete beginner level. Okay, let's take a look at this one then. The earth is hot, is our title. The earth is hot. People use cars, planes and factories. These make dirty air. The dirty air makes the earth hotter. Animals and plants are in danger. The ice melts and the sea goes up. We can help by turning off lights and planting trees. So this is the beginner, beginner level because it uses quite simple sentences. You see the sentences are usually very short here. And the words are quite easy as well. So words like hot, cars, plants, nothing too complicated. And often we're using the present tense, okay? So is, use, melts. Melts is a little bit advanced in terms of vocabulary, but it is simple tense. So nothing too complicated in grammar here. And there's some repetition. So we have dirty air is repeated a little bit. So generally this text could be quite easy for somebody to read at A1 level. It's actually quite difficult to find texts at this level because it's quite difficult to say very much when you're so limited with the vocabulary and grammar. Okay, so far so good. Let's take a look at A2 level. Again, pause the video, read this text by yourself before I go through it with you. Okay, so the earth is changing. People burn coal, oil and gas. This makes the earth hot. Because of this, the ice melts and the sea goes up. We also have more storms and very hot days. These changes are bad for animals, plants and people. 
we can help by using energy from the sun or wind. So this text is A2 level because it uses slightly more difficult words than A1. So we have words like burn, coal, storms, okay? So a little bit higher up. Uh, it still has simple sentence structures, but we start to get what we call cause and effect ideas. So you have this because of this at the start of one of the sentences. And we also have more than just basic ideas. So we've got things like using energy from the sun and wind. Okay, so this is kind of new vocabulary at this A2 level. Uh, it's still mostly present tense, but there's a bit more detail. An interesting thing to look at here is the sea goes up. Okay, so it's not the sea level goes up, it's just the sea goes up. So still trying to explain complicated ideas with limited grammar, limited vocabulary, it's a bit tricky. So we have to try to simplify these sentences a little bit. Okay, are you still with me? Let's move on to the intermediate levels. We're going to start with B1. The text here is a little bit longer. The sentences start to get longer at intermediate level. So we're going to split this over two pages. So again, pause the video, read this for yourself before we look at it together. So the title is Why Climate Change Matters. Climate change means the Earth's weather is changing because of what people do. When we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, gases go into the air and make the Earth warmer. This causes ice to melt and sea levels to rise. On to the next page, we have more storms and very hot days. To stop climate change, we need to burn less fossil fuel and use more energy from the wind and the sun. So this text is B1 because we can explain things much more clearly and in more detail. We've got some new terms such as fossil fuels or gases go into the air. And there's more connections between ideas. So we have this causes ice to melt or to stop climate change. Okay. Sentence structure is more complex than A2 but it's still not too difficult. This is a really good level for learners who can understand basic explanations, but need more help with details. If you're finding this helpful, please make sure to like this video, subscribe for more tips on how to improve your English, and make sure you comment below. I'd love to know what level was right for you. Okay, we're getting to B2 level now. This is your upper intermediate level. Let's take a look at this one. So again, pause the video, take a minute to read this by yourself. Our title is Causes and Effects of Climate Change. Climate change happens because humans burn fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas. These fuels release gases that trap heat in the atmosphere, making the planet warmer. As a result, polar ice is melting and sea levels are rising. We are also seeing more extreme weather events, such as stronger storms and longer heat waves. To reduce the impact of climate change, we need to lower emissions and move towards renewable energy sources. Okay, so this is B2 level because we've got some more advanced vocabulary in here. So release gases that trap heat or extreme weather events. Uh, the grammar also becomes more complex. So we've got phrases like as a result or we are also seeing. And the text starts to talk about both causes and effects. So this is more difficult than just talking about facts. Okay, like the earth is getting hotter. It gives more information about the effects of climate change, like stronger storms and heat waves and you as a reader are asked to think about solutions like lower emissions. So B2 is usually quite a big step up for people. Grammar, vocabulary, 
but also the complexity of the ideas really start to get more tricky from here. Okay, so let's have a look at these advanced levels. So what are people at C1 level doing differently? So our title here is Climate Change and its Global Impact. Again, this is a longer text because we've got longer sentences and more complicated ideas. Climate change caused mainly by burning fossil fuels is leading to significant shifts in the Earth's climate. The release of greenhouse gases traps heat, which results in rising global temperatures. This warming causes polar ice to melt, leading to higher sea levels and more frequent extreme weather events, such as hurricanes and droughts. The consequences of these changes are severe, affecting ecosystems, economies and human societies. A global effort is needed to reduce emissions and transition to renewable energy sources. So this text is C1 because it starts to use very formal technical language and some complex grammar. So words like significant shifts, greenhouse gases, these are higher level vocabulary. The text explains global consequences. So it starts to talk about things like ecosystems and economies and how they are affected by climate change. So these ideas are a little bit more abstract. Um, there's also longer and more complicated sentences. So we have things like leading to higher sea levels and more frequent extreme weather events. This is much, much more complicated than we had at the lower levels. So this is written for learners who can understand detailed information and are comfortable with more difficult language. Okay, so we've made it. This is the highest level, C2. Let's take a look and see what you make of the C2 level text. This text is a little bit longer, so this will be over more than one page. So our title is The Complexities of Climate Change. Climate change, primarily driven by human activities such as fossil fuel consumption, has triggered profound and far-reaching changes in the global climate. The accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has led to a significant rise in global temperatures, causing polar ice caps to melt and sea levels to rise. This, in turn, has resulted in more frequent and severe weather phenomena such as hurricanes, droughts and floods. The complex interplay of environmental, social and economic factors makes addressing climate change one of the greatest challenges of our time. A comprehensive strategy, including both mitigation and adaptation, is essential to tackle the impacts effectively. So, as expected, this was the most complex level. It uses very advanced vocabulary. So we have phrases like profound and far-reaching changes, okay? The complex interplay of environmental, social and economic factors. Much, much more complex than we had before. The grammar is also very advanced. So we have phrases like primarily driven by human activities, and also this phrase, in turn, okay? That's quite an advanced little bit of language there. It discusses abstract ideas like before, and it offers the solutions as well here. So mitigation and adaptation, these are hard to understand at lower levels, okay? So this text is great for learners who are almost native-like in level, and can understand these detailed and sophisticated ideas. So how was it? Which level was the best fit for you? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. Knowing your Sefer level is really helpful because it allows you to find material that is good for you. If you're using material that's too easy, you're not going to develop. If the material is too hard, then you're going to get frustrated and you won't want to study anymore. So understanding that your A2 level or B2 level or A1 really helps you to find the right material for you. If you found this useful, you might want to check out this playlist. For now, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.